All right. So from on this problem, what we need to do is we need to solve for a W. So this is a one-step equation. And when we're uh, solving for this equation, <laughs> so when we're solving for this equation, there's a couple things I notice. Here I have a fraction, and then here I have a mixed number. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to change, first of all, my mixed number into an improper fraction. And for those of you that need a little review for that, the way that we, uh, one way we like to do it is take your denominator, <coughs> multiply it by your whole number, and then add it to your numerator. So 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So as an improper fraction, we can write this as 3 halves. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite my equation. So it's 2 thirds plus w equals 3 halves. Now, I'm going to use my steps for solving a one-step equation. And my steps for solving a one-step equation is first, I need to determine what is happening to my variable. Right? My variable is my w in this case. So I need to determine what's happening to my variable. And I can notice I have an addition sign, so I'm using addition. So I'm actually adding to my variable two-thirds. So the, the opposite of that is now I'm going to actually have to subtract. So you're going to want to, you always determine first what's happening to the variable. Then you need to determine what is the inverse operation. Well, the inverse operation of addition would be subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 2 thirds from both sides of the equal sign. Any number subtracted by itself is going to remain 0. We don't need to write 0 anymore. So we have w equals 3 halves minus 2 thirds. Yes. Is it zero? This becomes zero. But now we have three halves minus two thirds. Okay? So what we have to do is remember whenever we're adding or subtracting, we have to make sure they have the common denominators. So if I look, what's the common denominator between two and three? It's gonna be six. So therefore I have to multiply two times uh, three on the top and bottom, and two thirds and three times two on the top and bottom. And the reason why I do this is because 2 times 3 is going to give me 6, and 3 times 2 will give me 6. 3 times 3 is 9, 2 times 2 is 4. Therefore, I have w equals 9, 6 minus 4, 6. They have the common denominators, so now I can subtract the numerators. Hold on. So therefore, my final answer becomes 5, 6. All right? Oh.